uh, I mean, yeah, the whole thing for me, it's been like since I've uh, I've been through, um, I've had a rough year, and and uh, uh, so a lot of a lot of my lyrics are quite dark in a way, mm. and which has affected Bjorn in a way too, because like we said, we're in different places and life faces, and and um, for me, it's like. Um, now it, it's going to sound like we're mayhem, and we're not. <laughs> but but for me, it's it's sort of like um, life affirming in a way to, to you know get rid of all the dark stuff. Mm. Um, just like you know, and I guess I'm a bit too intense sometimes. So I always, you know, I always listen to music too loud, and I always you know, I can be a bit. You know, um, domineering and, and uh, a bit, mm. <laughs> yeah. yeah <laughs> and, and, but at the same time, it's it's like, and 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 Bjorn is, is um, I think it's a it's nice balance, you know. And and I for, me, so for me, it's yeah. it's not like I want to die. It's more yeah. like yeah. I kind of like, you know. <laughs> yeah. No, but I think I, I think it's very in, in, in important for me to leave. That the door to darkness open, you know, at all times. Because there's, yeah. I mean, if you shut that, it's like it's it's not realistic, you know. And I think it's it's also a matter of what you do with it. You're letting in the darkness, and then it's really what you're doing with with it. And and I guess what I've been seeing with David at, at times is that he's being sort of absorbed, you know, and and he's be becoming, you know, those lyrics a little bit too much, you know. And I feel that that. He's he you know he's gone through that door and he's been closing the door you know instead of sort of leaving it open you know? and <laughs> yeah, then yeah. and then that's sort of what I've been seeing and that's <laughs> that has been inspiring me lyrically as well you know so it's it's an interesting exchange yeah here, yeah you know, yeah, that, 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 yeah it's, it's it's an exchange it's it's like a lyrics it's like a conversation <laughs> yeah I guess, yeah I guess you could say that yeah <laughs> and it's you know it's it's really. It's really lovely. To, I, I, I really like having, you know, Bjorn as like a, a sparring partner. No, but yeah. it's, it's like yeah. um, it, it would be boring to. I mean, I'm always writing songs all the time, but at the same time, I wouldn't want to have an entire album with just my songs. No, you know? <laughs> no. I mean, I, th I think we need that sort of dynamic. Yeah. In the songwriting. There, there is a thing about uh, working with darkness is that, uh, I mean, it's an old cliche, but I mean, in darkness, the light becomes a bit lighter. Uh, and uh, in, in light, the darkness becomes darker. I mean, that's natural and that's just an old cliche, but that's really the way it is. You can really, you can read the lyric and know how the person feels when he writes the lyrics or you can know where he is or what he's aiming for and I know David has had a dark period uh, and his, one of his processes is writing which which makes him feel better I mean we do have plans to you know get out and play and tour and but at the same time I guess our strategy has been to like, you know, we hope for the best, and if it doesn't happen, we will continue to create stuff. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we will be creative in one way or another. But I mean, it's. Um, I mean, our. I guess our strategy has just been to continue creating stuff, and, yeah. and uh, I think people are listening to us more than ever. In a way, if you look at the statistics and Absolutely, everything, yeah. it, it's it's yeah. like and. and this might sound really pretentious or preposterous, but, but at the same time, it feels like people, I mean, people need new stuff. They need inspiration, they need music, they need, you know, at least for me, it's been hmm. a saving grace discovering hmm. new music and, and, and um, you know, getting that source of inspiration. Um, and I feel like um, people do appreciate that we're 
we're not curling up in a fetal position, giving up. We're no. still creating stuff, and, and uh, yeah, and, and and they can feel that it's real. Yeah, you know, they yeah. can feel the presence in the music, you know, and, and uh, it's it's um, yeah. Desire. <laughs> I had to sell uh, more than Lady Gaga and uh, <laughs> Desire, like uh, going on tour with that album. It's really what we want to. I mean, uh, play a lot of good shows and promote the album this way. I mean, this is and sell a lot, yeah. even if you don't sell any more things <laughs> anymore. I mean, but yeah, I'm going on tour and show people. Uh, what we can do on stage, so they can look at us like, what the fuck, they're getting old. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, aged so much in two years. Yeah. yeah. Unless a new virus coming in, like, yeah, hey, hi, Scott. <laughs> I'm yeah. new. So, yeah, yeah, we should get the, get a baseball bat. Yeah. Just to be sure. We should have a baseball bat. The next step is <laughs> going to be zombie kind of thing. So we need baseball bats and you know, yeah. like a Negan way <laughs> to deal with them. Uh, yeah. Well, I'm I'm really excited about the release of this album uh, and how it's gonna, how 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 people are gonna like it, what they're gonna think about it. Because I mean, it's a it's a big bite to go through. Uh, so yeah, of course I'm dying to hear the reactions on it. Uh, but also I'm really looking forward to come out and play the music live and just meet people and and uh, be on stage, be off stage, and uh, just play with the guys. Where I should go.